Hey YouTube, I'm here today to do a couple of unboxings, well a couple, a few unboxings of uh, some things I got from uh, Sky RC. Uh, I guess I'll start off with this Toro, what's this, the uh, X8PT, it's a brushless motor, it's a uh, 13, so you can see that, 1350KV, and uh, kind of figured I'd go ahead and go with the lower KV so I could uh, have a lot more voltage and uh, run a little bit cooler when I'm doing my runs and everything and uh, here it is right here it's pretty nice it uh, maxes out at a uh, 3000 watts uh, what else it uh, the voltage max out at a uh, 37 volts and uh, you know it has the uh, five millimeter shaft and everything and uh, yeah pretty nice gotta solder on some uh, connectors and everything no too though but uh this this is a sensorless brushless motor and uh i kind of like decided to go ahead and get an esc to go along with it so i picked up the uh toro ts 150 and uh this is actually a censored brushless esc for eight scale uh eight scale rcs and uh yep there's a little bit of the specs right here so you can see that so uh basically with the uh 1350 i could go ahead and run it uh what's that actually no because uh this here is a uh, six pole so I'm supposed to run it at 4S, and uh, but uh, you know we have the different KVs or whatnot. Though it all depends on your KVs and your poles, on uh, how much voltage or whatnot that you want to run through these things, because you don't want to fry and burn nothing up. You know what I mean? So uh, let me go ahead and take this out. See what it looks like. So when you get it, you'll get some wires, you get the ESC, and you have to do all the soldering yourself, which uh, I don't mind because uh, I'm uh, brushing up on my soldering skills. That's where you put the uh, sensor plug in right there. There you go with the positive and the negatives. What is it? Oh yeah, here is where the uh, fan plugs in at, where you, could, you got like four screws, where you could actually like replace the fan if it blows out or whatnot. And uh, if you see right there, there's a little uh, plug for your uh, what's gonna call it? Your your link, so you can uh, program your ESC. You hook up, hook up to the computer with this right here, the Skylink. And uh, you know you cook with your USB, but then if you want to do it a different way, you can get this and hook it up to your smart device, smartphone, and uh, you know you can use your i your uh, iPhone or I guess uh, whatever else it'll connect to. <laughs> I use iPhone though, so I don't care about the other Android stuff. But <laughs> anyways, what else? Uh, yeah, this right here it came with the ESC2. Go ahead and put all this down. Uh, and also, you have the uh, program box that also you can program the ESC with too, though. So, you know, you have three different things that you can use to program your ESC on the fly, which I think this, the smartphone thing is like. You know, super cool or whatnot though, because he connects through the Wi-Fi. First, it was the uh, the Bluetooth one. I couldn't find the Bluetooth one, but when I saw the Wi-Fi one, I'm like, okay, Wi-Fi it is. So I got this one too. So you could just, you know, you could be, uh, you, you could just hook it up with. Uh, I'm guessing. Ooh, what's that? Yeah, right there on the side. I was looking at that like, wow, what kind of plug goes into there? Okay, so that's that. 
Then I got a couple of these uh, Intergy lipo checkers because you know when you're running you don't want to go too low. You don't want to burn up the nut, mess up your batteries, check about more batteries and batteries are kind of expensive. So with all that, I figured like, okay, so I got the motor, I got the ESC, but the ESC is sensor, and this is a sensorless motor. So I went on and went with this one here, <clears throat> which, uh, let me see, do, 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 do. this is the uh, X8ST. Open this up here. All right. Alrighty. Here we go. Pull some specs on this real quick. It's also a 1350 kV, and uh, it has a 12 slot Slater and a four pole rotor. So with this one, I could actually run it on 6S instead of the 4S and uh, without any kind of complications or whatnot, which is a pretty cool thing. And uh, let me see if I can find any other specs on this thing here. And it maxes out with the voltage at 33 volts. Uh, the watts is uh, 2800 and um, yeah, it's just a uh, pretty cool and uh, it also comes with the uh, sensor cable and the sensor is right here in the back you see that yep so uh, got a lot of soldering to do as you see and uh, stay tuned and uh, once I get this soldered up, I'm going uh, to you know, try to run it and show you how it goes. Thank you for watching.